Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. It is going to be a beautiful, sunny day. If this is your first time clicking on the video, welcome to Eddie Family Farm. Um, we're glad you stopped by, and uh, we're a family of six, and we just enjoy documenting and just showing our life here on the farm. All these beautiful animals, the beautiful sounds, it's amazing. And we welcome each and every one of y'all, and we'd love to know where y'all from. And also, what is your favorite animal? Um, I have so many animals, they're all my favorite, but I think I'm more partial to probably chickens and goats. Uh, I think that's where Kaysen gets it from. So, um, kind of a crazy thing this morning. I'll kind of tell you a little bit about that here in just a second. But what we're going to go through today is uh, we're going to go through and, and uh, fill their feeders up. And then we're going to go back down and start taking care of the goats and the llamas and all the other animals. And then we're going to get on with our uh, new projects that we're going to be starting. We're super, super excited that we are fixing to uh, start a project that is that we've been needing for a very, very long time. And um, we're going to be building that on over there where the garden was. And speaking of the garden, we're going to have to start tilling that up and getting that ready too to start planting our um, planting our uh, garden. So what are you doing, girl? Huh? It's about time. We're getting ready to feed. We're getting ready to feed. All right, I'm gonna get some feed out and we're gonna come up here and what I'm gonna do is pour it in a, it's easier for me to pour it in a bucket. I love that sound. They all know it's when it's time to start getting ready for breakfast. Oh, that's lamb pellets. That ain't good, that's lamb pellets. Well, we need some of those anyways. But I'll go ahead and get some of those out. Probably not the whole bucket. So I'm gonna have to go get some chicken scratch. And I think we are actually out of chicken scratch right now. So we're gonna have to make a run to the feed store. set this up here and then we'll probably go like I said make a run to the feed store gotta find the lid for it I don't know what to do with the lid so yeah I'm gonna have to run down here and get the truck and we're going to run the feed store to get uh, some chicken feed and then I'm gonna probably get um, no we still got some mineral I may have to get some mineral as well and we do have some more hay we found some hay and uh, we're going to uh, purchase 20 bales of it uh, because i mean we i want to some of the pens we have um, they don't have much grass in it but i want to be able to have hay if i need it and we can always feed it you know it'll always be here so all right guys so we made it back from town and uh i got some chicken feed and i don't want to run out for a little while but while I was there, I was talking to a gentleman in the line and he was getting some beninotin and I asked him what it was for and he said, hey, I got a pond that's leaking and that's what he uses. So I thought I'd get a couple bags and uh, see how it works out. Um, so I, I, we're probably not going to do it today um, just because there is water in there right now. We'll wait until it goes down, then we'll put it in so we can pack it in. Um, so I'm gonna go back up here and get to side by side, come down here and get a bag of chicken scratch and then we're gonna fill up all of the um, chicken feeders. And then we're gonna go feed the rest of the animals. I don't know if I'm gonna show that because I've really gotta get started on that new project. But we'll just see how everything goes while we're doing it. I'm just gonna pick up one bag of this chicken scratch and then we will, um, we'll come back later and uh, move the chicken scratch. Sometimes I think them chickens know what bag's theirs. The chickens and turkeys. All right, we're gonna try this again. But this time, 
I don't. Yeah, I got a bucket back here. And here lately, it's been about about every five, four to five days, we got to actually fill these up. Good morning, ladies. Y'all didn't give me no eggs yesterday. Oh, yeah, you did right there. I see Kaysen probably got them out yesterday. Good morning. Y'all don't like your oats? Guess not. All right. Fill that dude up a little bit. Hey, side by side. You better be easy there. So as I'm looking here, you know, we feed the oats every day. And um, since we put some of the antibiotic stuff, not antibiotic, since we put some vitamins in there, they haven't been eating all the oats. Now, these, these guys have. I mean, I see some oats, but not... A whole bunch so anyways we're gonna move on down here and uh, get to feeding a little bit and then we got to get back to our project I hear y'all I hear ya all right we're coming we're coming. I'm gonna get them a deal on. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all feeding the babies. And then we gotta get this day started. I love the new feeders. The feeders have been definitely working really, really good. Yeah, those feeders just worked out really good, but I'm gonna feed these guys real quick. So those guys are getting their morning snack. Um, the turkeys and stuff, they've already had their snack this morning and they will probably ease up there and get some off the ground up there as well. But um, waters are looking good. So now we, um, I'm going to, uh, well actually, yeah, I'm gonna go take a little bit of grain to the animals over there. After that, we're gonna go ahead and get started on today's project. All right, guys. All right, guys, now I'm moving over here to the project that I really wanna be on and kinda of excited about it. I spoke with the welder guy uh, this morning and I think we are going to end up putting that building right here. Um, so I'm gonna have to take out them two, them two trees right there. I do wanna leave these trees, that way it's something that's kind of blocking it a, a little bit. So today I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to push those over and I'm gonna have to start bringing some dirt in, packing this. Obviously it's going to take a while, not going to show you all of that and um, I'll probably have some other things I'm gonna do after this that I gotta take care of before um, the end of the day when we gotta go back to feeding. Um, I don't know if we've already put this video out. If not, you're gonna get a head start or some information. So this area here, we brought some dirt in, packed it up, and what we're going to be putting down here is a that net. And um, we're gonna put the net here and it's just going to be something 
uh, the kids can have their own little batting cage. And uh, I need to find some, probably a little bit softer, that has a lot of clay in it, a little bit softer um, dirt. Probably need to use some of that over there and lay it on top. But the kids like batting and sports, so we'll probably end up doing that. And I've got to put diesel in there and I didn't get batteries, so that's not good. I think. Ah, all right. Turn it back this way, just like that. I don't know if it'll work. We'll try. It should, but you'll have to go slow because it's going to come up fast. Yeah. I just, I know it's full here, so. Uh, yeah, it's going to spill some. that wind would quit. Yikes. That's why I like that pump. Batteries are all the way down. Yeah, somehow water got in it. We may have to get another little pump. I just hold it there. Can't do too bad. I mean... No. Yeah, the pump will do a lot better, but... Then that's the deal, we'll just wash it off. I mean, it's kind of one of those deals. It is a tractor, things like that's going to happen, but I would rather have the pump. I don't even know how much this thing holds. Oh, Brandon, Brandon, holds that much. <laughs> it holds that much, guys. So right about 10 gallons. That's not a very big tank, but. I mean, it lasts a while, though. Yeah. So I'm going to put the lid on this, and then we're going to drive up by the water hose and wrench this dude off real quick. See that hill right there? Um, we started getting dirt from there at the very beginning to fix a road, but I think I'm going to continue getting it all the way to back right here, and um, I don't know. That's why I just plan on getting it right now to make the building. I may also find a... Um, I, I can go somewhere else at the back of the property. There's a hill, and uh, I can get some dirt from there. Um, and I may just start digging a, a, a hole over there on the other side to where it's closer. Um, so there's several things that we could do. I'm not for sure, but I know we're going to get a lot of the dirt from right there and kind of smooth that off. Yeah, that, that pushed that and over real easy. And I can just come back and get the roots out of it. Come on now, talk to me. Look at that bad boy. Come on. Come on now, let roots. Come on now, let roots. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you. I've been wanting to take this ugly thing down for a while. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to try to push it over. Here, here it goes. Oh, it's dead. Here it goes. I've always wanted to say this. Timber! Oh, it didn't go down. My bad. Got some dirt that go around. Here we go. Come on, Kubota. Talk to me. Talk to me. 
Don't do me! Don't! Oh! It didn't go to the radiator though. I will dig to China. I'm not playing. I'm done. You're done. You might as well surrender. You might as well go peacefully. You've already broke my tractor. Rock it back over here some, see if we can pull it back. See if we got any more power this way, backwards. I don't see any more roots down here. There it is! Poop! There it is! Poop! There it is! Heck yeah! Don't come back on my tractor! Don't come back on my Capota! Not today! Not tomorrow! I'm gonna get under you and you are leaving! I am evicting you from your, your spot! Come on baby! Don't do me like that now! Come on! We got it going now! We just need to get it! pushed all the way. I must have got something I shouldn't have. Right here, come on. So we've got that kind of filled back in. I'm not really going to pack it down right now. I'm going to start going over and getting dirt and start bringing up because we've got to try to make this level. Um, it's going to take quite a bit. So uh, I might show a little bit or I might just show it completed. So I've already ran the battery down once. Um, so we'll probably just show you after we get a bunch of it hauled over here. When I left y'all last night, I had I just told y'all I was going to start the, uh, moving the dirt. I don't even think I put an ending in it last night. Um, it just got so dark. I, I hauled until dark. Or I moved dirt until dark. You can kind of see 
see what I actually pulled in. But now that we're here, and I got Steph out here, so the deal is, we I moved a lot of dirt in here last night, but um, and me and Steph was talking. I I want to run it like this, okay? And it's going to be a couple weeks before he actually gets started. So I need y'all to leave us some comments down in the comment box. No, I'm probably fixing to go live is what I'm probably fixing to do. But um, still, leave a comment down in the comment box what y'all think. Um, this is north, this is south, east, west. So the way I remember it is never eat sour watermelon. So the wind comes out of the north and the south a lot, but if I got it running this way, the opening's going to be facing the north. That's what I want because I want to be able to see it from the house up there. But Steph's got a good point. The wind's going to be blown in. So do I need to run it east? No, I was wanting to run it east and west long ways. Okay, so I got myself confused now. What, I, what I'm, going... I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, because we're kind of over here on the far side. So what I'm actually thinking is actually kind of northeast is the opening. So I'm thinking kind of diagonal where the opening right here is going to be facing the roadway. Because when we run in with the truck or anything, this right here has always been kind of like a driveway type thing. That's the way we take the side by side or even the tractor or we even drive our vehicles through there sometimes to get up here to the garden. So and that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to get y'all's advice, but um, turning the building to where the entrance you pull in this way. And the building's going to run north and south besides it open north and south. So, okay, I'm bringing this dirt up to level it up. So if I'm going to run the building north and south, right here's where I want to put the building. As I, I was thinking of this last night while I was moving the dirt, I can run it north and south in this open area. And what I like about that, it's already up on a hill, kind of. Or we can bring more dirt up to bring it up. That way the water flows down it. I'm going to haul a few more loads over here and try to make my mind up what I'm going to do. Boys and girls, I'm going to tell you what. My little, my daggum Kubota tractor here yesterday took this big old tree down. Man, it was a workout. It took us several hours, but hey, it's so Kubota took care of her, boys and girls. Wait, we got a couple scraps and scrapes and bruises on the tractor, but it can't stay new forever. Let's run over here and go get some uh, dirt. I'll show you how I'm getting the dirt. Sometimes when you don't have the right equipment, you just got to do what you got to do to get by. Got me some of that dirt there. Now we're going to go back this way. You gotta be kind of careful because it get it is heavy on the front, but um, it's done pretty good. Need to get a tape measure out here so we can lay it out. But I think we're gonna run up there and get a tape measure and come and lay this out and try to get an idea of where we're at. I still want an opening here so you can go by it. Yeah, so you can pass by it. And it's not too tight. Let's see how far. 30 is going to be the width, right? Yeah. Go this way some. 
those two a uh, couple trees right there because yeah. I just and don't... I think these ones might be able to say maybe if we level that part out we can we can if we take well I, I don't want to really take these trees out here yeah I know Cody might know how to level it. You dug up my grass. Yeah, it's gonna be messed up anyways. I'm probably still gonna have to bring some up there, but at least I'll get this all leveled out. All right guys, kind of change of a pace here. As I told y'all uh, in this video or a video before, we've got to go get some hay. Well, we've got some hay now. This is the, the first load. We've got five bells. We're gonna come back and try to get five more tonight. So um, we'll see how much recording we can get while we're doing it, but it should be fun. So we made it back to the farm. Um, coming up here, get the, the tractor. I had the bucket on it and I told Steph we're trying to beat the daylight or try to get as much can while it's daylight. I said, well, you go out there and get the get the spikes and put on it. And looky there, what a great wife she is. Well, we're trying to get down there to get, these, uh, get this hay off of here. My brother's uh, about to put it up every day. He's trying to get everything on. used to this. Go back to the house. Hurry. Daddy will be back here in a minute, okay? No, you're gonna have to go back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> 